Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with a rare vintage doll unboxing. Today, I have got a spectacular, an iconic, a truly magnificent doll. Today, I have the Barbie Earring Magic Ken, otherwise known as Cockring Ken, but that is beside the point. This doll was designed by Mattel and it was released in 1992 and it was supposed to be a hip cool Ken. But unfortunately, <laughs> Mattel's designers went out into West Hollywood in the 90s, which would have been a huge gay scene. And so, Earring Ken was born. Now, this Earring Ken was very beat up. As you can see, this is entirely oranged. Like, that is just crazy. So I can't really tell what he's like inside the box, but he is still technically sealed. He does have a little hole right here, which is where all that dirt was getting in. As you can see, he's gonna have a little bit of dirt on him, which is fine because I didn't get him really to have the doll itself. I got him for the outfits because the outfit is just very so iconic. Um, I didn't super overpay for him. I paid I got him on eBay. He was a Goodwill find, I think, is who I bought it from out of like Hawaii. And it was, uh, he was $10 and then $10 for shipping. So I'm okay with the fact that he's more than a little bit messed up, but he's still technically sealed in all of his glory. But because he is in such bad condition, as far as the box and everything, and just the fact that there's visible dirt on him, I'm going to debox him and I'm going to put his outfit onto Sean, a new gay Ken for a new decade. So this is a very fun little thing. It was designed to have like earrings that you could wear with your dolls. And I think it really missed the mark, but we are going to give it a look anyway. I don't know how this is supposed to come out, but it's not cooperating right now. Okay, there we go. So here he is out of the box. As you can see, his stuff is still there. The Barbie charm looks like it did break in there, but that's okay. Um, but he is still pretty vibrant as far as his clothes. Like the purple, I was worried, fading. Uh, but this is held up pretty well. But as you can see, he is covered in stuff. But we are going to set him free. Just a second. So like I said, he's not in perfect condition, not anywhere close. Uh, we do have our little clip-on earrings for her. Uh, and those are still in there, but we don't really care about that. But here he is. As you can see, he has got all of his stuff, but what I think it is, is I think it's actually the jacket that's deteriorating that is contributing to this weird dust. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab a baby wipe to wipe him down because you never know how much stuff will come off with just a baby wipe. So before you start getting into 
bleaches and vinyl cleaners. You just hit it with a baby wipe a couple of times. Soft, slow strokes like that. Now he does have a very cool little face. His arms do seem to be very, uh, very faded compared to his head. But we're gonna just give it a little bit of uh, a zhuzh here. So there he is in all of his Glory. Huh. Glory. We're going to be very careful in snipping these little staples that have been on him for 30 years. <laughs> We're going to take his little necklace part off and try to leave that connected to his vest if we can. Okay. And there is his shirt underneath and we do have to like take it off over his head for some reason but we're going to do it as gently as possible to not screw up the uh, the seams And so everything is held up pretty well on this shirt. It's just a simple like purple mesh shirt. And there's what he looks like underneath. We're gonna take his pants and we're going to bring them down so we can take him off. And that is what he looks like. He does have semi-flexible legs, I think. Yeah, he does have the snap knees. But that's what he looks like. As you can see, his little earring right there. It's not much. It didn't really hold up to the test of time. I think it was supposed to start out silver. But what we're gonna do instead is we are going to make sure this is still in decent condition. Yep. And we're going to take our Sean and get him dressed. All right. Now the 90s things were a little baggier. So we don't even have to take off his little shorts that he has underneath. Just like that. And we're going to put his arms up to put his shirt on again. Bada bing, bada boom. And there we have him in his purple mesh. And now the next thing we want to do is we want to go like this and put his necklace on. And we're going to put his vest on like this, like so. Boom. We have got an updated and upgraded earring magic kin, even though he doesn't really have his earring anymore, but that's really kind of a simple fix. I'd just take a, any doll earring and poke a little hole right there. 
but is very cute. <laughs> like, I, I'm here for this. But yeah, he looks super cute. Now, he does also have shoes, and these are like very basic shoes, like very vintage Kendall shoes. Just like loafers. I don't know if they still fit. I would assume so. Oh yeah, they do. So, his little loafers do still fit. And there he is. All ready, all ready for a blast to the past and some fun nights out and he looks great. I think I would swap out his shoes for these which still have that 90s feel but he looks really cute this way and it's nice to remember a little bit of our gay history. So <laughs> this is a fun vintage can. I do love taking vintage dolls and putting their uh, outfits onto modern dolls because honestly sometimes it shows you just how crazy they were back then but it's still fun I think an easy way to upgrade this would be to give him his um, his black leather pants that Sean originally comes with I think I would reseal this because this is like this fabric is starting to fray really badly, so I think I would put like a, a clear coat of fabric paint on there, or like fabric sealant, just to uh, keep it from further deteriorating. But I like the vibe that it gives so far. Um, you could take this off. It's kind of designed to come off, I'm pretty sure, because it's just held on with a single thread. But... He looks fun and exciting, and that is honestly what uh, what we all want, isn't it? We all just want to be fun and exciting. So, I don't know. This is a fun little quick video that I was able to do because I'm going to be very busy the next couple of days, so I doubt I will have the energy to do videos this weekend. So I wanted to just kind of do this one and get him out and let you guys see a little bit of where my thought process goes but he's very cool compared to the original earring magic Ken who's super tanned and honestly is just in really bad shape like even after that I need to seriously like he's so sticky on his head that I don't think the baby wipe is going to be enough to get rid of that. And I worry that if I use anything stronger to try and get rid of the sticky, that it's going to take the paint off. So, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to wind up doing with this one. He might just go in my box of uh, vintage dolls and just save them for, you know, whenever I need to, but for now, let's just kind of appreciate how much taller Ken is now. But, but he's very fun. Like, so what do you guys think? Do you think he's a, a fun investment doll? Because not very often are you going to find him as cheap as I found him. This was one of those ones that I had set an alert for. And then just kind of surprisingly, nobody um, bid on him. But I think it was because he was listed wrong. I think he was listed as like Barbie and Ken Charm doll or something like that. But again, that's because it was a Goodwill that listed it. But yeah, so this is what he is now. He has been given new life as this reincarnated Ken. So, yeah, I don't know. This is just a silly little video for me. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, 
uh, leave them in the comments. Um, if you guys want to give advice on any other fun vintage Ken dolls that you'd like me to try to hunt down for good deals, then uh, leave them in the comments. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.